it's a day to put it bluntly, what a, what a result that is. I've said it so many times, 1-0 up in the last two games at Solihull and at York, we should be 2 3 4. Same again today. We give away the most stupidest goal you've ever seen in your life. Full credit to them. They made a couple of changes. Henderson come on, rolled inside more. So he got his goal from that. They switched their wing backs. Their wing backs rolled in, and then the tens would roll into wide areas. And up until obviously that goal, we were causing not a lot of problems. Um, we can't keep giving away stupid goals with that. Absolute poxy goal to give away. I'll be totally honest with you. And um, yeah. I've just watched the goal inside, it's, uh, it's horrendous. And then we've unbelievable opportunities to make a three and we don't do it. So it'll cost us in the end. Um, and that is what it is, like our performance in the last 15 minutes is, is like diabolical. Yeah, you sort of touched on it there in the Solihull and York games. We didn't quite get that all in crucial second goal inside the first half. Today we did that and that ended up being the important second goal. That, that got us the three points. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did to be fair. Look, I think we've played better actually in some games. First half thought were excellent. Um, deserve to be even further ahead. Um, start the second half, they come out a little bit at us. We made a change. You could see like Joe Roy hadn't played for a bit and Cropper hadn't started for a bit. Brought the lads on. Billy gave us loads of control in possession. And then we have a golden chance with Nicky. We have several chances to go and make a three and put the game to bed. And if you don't do that, you'll suffer in this game. And 2, two nil is the most dangerous scoreline in football. You know, If you get it, it's game over. If they get it, it's game on. And you can see some of our lads, their heads drop because of the confidence of the last two games. But look, we ground her out in the end, but we rolled our luck. I've got to be honest with you, uh, Lady Luck was on our side today. When a top team like Rochdale is throwing absolutely everything at you in the final few minutes, how is it to try and stay composed in those final few seconds to try and ride it out? Certain players never stay composed. Just making crazy errors. Clearing the ball in the pitch, opening up the pitch when we're trying to be more defensive and, and solid. Uh, running out into different slots and uh, realistically they should have got an equaliser. Um, did they deserve it over 90 minutes? I wouldn't have said so. I thought we had a stronger team, especially for a longer period of the game, especially first half. And then when we got control, when Billy come on, for so, but up until they scored, really, we were comfortable. But you can't give teams like that goals. And we've done it several times the other day at York. Give away the most stupidest goal. And they go 2-1 up from a good free kick. Um, yeah, and, if, and at, even at that stage, I felt we were shading the game. But listen, I've been on at them players about that. Maybe they've heard my voice too much. If I'm being, I'm being totally honest with you, maybe it's just to hear my voice too much and I've got too much to say to them and show them. Uh, we practically do everything, we go through everything, we visually go through everything um, and we communicate clear with the players and honest, but it's just so frustrating. But I know what needs to happen, so until that happens, the games are going to be continuing like this. You know, um, on to today as well with, with Danny Collins, he obviously hasn't featured for, for a long, long time. He, he obviously comes on. How delighted are you to have him back back in the fold? It's about time. I'm not bleeding injured for ages. Um, so look, it is what it is. He's back, he's back. He's just another member of the squad. It's good to have him back. Um, I thought he did all right. Um, I thought Joe Roy was outstanding. What a player this kid, what a future he's got. Once we get him up to speed, get him used to the level, he's got a big future in the game. I'd rather talk about people like that, not the lads that are just coming back from injury. All these injuries are doing my head in. Yeah, and obviously, you know, you said about Joe Rye. Joe Rye seems to have put in some out, absolutely outstanding performances, especially here at the Hive, and he's been pivotal to that, you know, incredible run here. Yeah, 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 just another game. Joe's a good player, top player, you know. We don't sign bad players. We sign a lot of talented players. You know, we sign a lot of talent from below. We don't sign from above. We haven't got the finances to do that. We're not one of the massive clubs in the division. And it's just another player that our scouting system. Um, they need a lot of credit, I picked up, you know, Joe Roy's a top player. Um, who else did well today? So, so I thought Hearts did well today, I thought Moyles Ken, Kenlock was at his level today. Um, so look, the first goal to press is what we want to do against them. They like the wall pass out against our sitters, and we caught them on a wall pass, cut off their options, so tactically that was good from us. Um, great goal from Cox. I thought Cox was outstanding as well. Um, as the game got stretched, I just felt Idris could like, you know, ball carry for us because that's his game. But we've got to learn quick because realistically, we've won 11 at 16, we've lost five. And I only think we actually deserve to lose, fully deserve to lose at um, Solihull. Well, we lost total control again when we were in control. So again, we've lost control again. Maybe I have to look at us tactically. Maybe I just let the opposition have the ball and we'll be a boring team. And we'll sit off and defend and defend and defend and defend. But then you need the players in both boxes, that can be the difference. Another break from league action next week when we make the long trip over to Devon, Exeter City in the FA Cup. How much are you relishing that, that challenge? It's, just, it's a distraction for what we really want to do. Great for our supporters, distraction for the team.
And how would you sort of view them as an opposition, the way they very like to play? Very well coached. I watched them against Shrewsbury. Taught their manager, made unbelievable substitution at half-time. They were 1-0 up at Shrewsbury and he made a brilliant substitution at half-time too, actually. Uh, Eric Caldwell, top manager, they prefer to. I don't know how they've got on today, I'm not sure. Um, I thought he was very brave to be 1-0 up in the game and then make the subs he made. That showed he knows what he's doing. And he's, they're having a fantastic season. Well, they were up until I don't like I said I don't have one today. So the well coached, play a similar system to us. Play with a box, um, good athleticism, good experience in areas. They brought a couple of players from the national league in Francis. They brought him from Gateshead and uh, Ali from Halifax, and they've been mainstays as well. So it just shows you there is good players in this division that can jump up the levels. Um, so look, it's great for our supporters. Obviously, finances for the chairman because that's what he'll want. Um, but it's a distraction for the team. Thanks for your time, dude. Cheers.